yes, yes, yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day today. Yes. And the we're so is, excited. Yes, it is. The weather is agreeing with us. It's just, we can feel spring in the air. Yes, yes, spring is in the air. We got Rudy Jones here today that's going to be joining us in just a few moments, mm -hmm. talking about some wonderful community development issues. And, but first of all, this is our Boom Shackalacka, so we got a shout out to our most frequent viewers, Shaviva, yes, Kayla Hayes, you. Marcel Avant, Lisa Berry, hey Bumpty, <laughs> <laughs> Curtis Washington. Yes, and also Linda Matlock, Bill Tate, Marilyn Rogers Moreland, and James Russell. Hey, hey everybody. Right, and just like we said, our guest today is Rudy Jones. We got one guest and we're going to wear him out to be. We're going to ask him everything about the community, even the stuff he doesn't want to talk about. Oh, I'm sure he's going to want to he, talk about he's got, everything. That's okay. right. Yes. All right. So we got the community development director, mm -hmm. Rudy Jones, as I said, mm -hmm. and we want to thank our viewers. Yes. For making us the best show on the internet. Y'all don't know that but that's a fact. <laughs> it mm -hmm. definitely is a fact. Number one, no matter who you ask, mm -hmm. that's what they say. Mm -hmm. Because, and you know why? Because there's always something good happening on the North End. Just like right behind us. You see the North End? That's go. Sumner Street. Yeah. Some good happening on Sumner Street right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, and everywhere, and everywhere else. else, for <laughs> okay. sure. All yes. right, today we want you to stay with us for our Give It Air subject, which is what is it? Double standard. Oh, that double standard. Mm -hmm. And the basketball game, I think, has been hitting the media so hard. So we're going to give sure. you our take and talk to our guests today about that in our Give It Air segment mm -hmm. and talking point. Yes, our talking point today is your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds. You can grow flowers or, or you, you can, can grow, grow weeds. weeds. Right, yes. right. And we want to remind you, we're approaching six years of positivity from a North End perspective. Mm -hmm. And we want you to help us celebrate. But there's only a limited few seats left at our banquet tonight. Actually, the word I have is that there's no more seats left. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you might want to, if, you're, if you want to get in, when did you hear that, Shaviva? <laughs> <laughs> I, I just called in two more, so hopefully there's still a chance. Don't give up, because I'm telling you, it's going to be some great food, great okay. entertainment tonight. And it's our very first fundraiser, Shaviva. Yes, indeed. And we're really looking forward to getting together with the community and just saying thank you and having a little fun and some good food and recognizing folks who have been so helpful to this whole process. That's yeah. right. And if you if there are tickets for sale, you can inbox me or text me and I'll let you know, but it could be a chance our, our event is called the Taste of the North End. Right. But some people might just be left out and only get a smell of the food of the North yeah, End. Yeah, something like that. You won't get <laughs> to taste real. it, but if you show up, we'll probably let you in. You just won't get to eat the food. You can smell the food. Mm -hmm. That would not be too not much Not a taste, fun. but a smell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, what are we doing now? We got breaking news, which is our event. Mm -hmm. That's the breaking news. Want you to mm -hmm. try to be there. If you hopefully you got your tickets because we're excited to be there with you. Yes, and our news flash is as it is every week. Birthday people, be yes. sure to stick around to hear your shout out and song. We all tuned up and we got Rudy with us. Oh, and Rudy, he's right. that singing preacher. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and Rocky don't. swears is the best. <laughs> Singer ever. I so. don't swear, but You're right. I, I do kind of declare. But okay. <laughs> okay. No swear, just declare. Okay. You know what? His ears should be ringing all year long because yes. I talk about Rudy Jones and his singing I abilities know. a lot. I know. In fun. Just in fun. Okay. I think we've shared enough about Rudy without his con uh, content. I mean, <laughs> uh, con con what do you call it? Consent. Without his consent. That's right. <laughs> that word. Let's introduce Rudy Jones, our Community Development Director. Welcome. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Glad to be here. This has got to be the greatest way to end a uh, very productive week. Oh, oh good. Good. Yeah. good. Yeah, well, we have those two issues we're going to kind of break into this conversation today. Um, we got a lot to talk about on the Community Development Tip, but also our Give It Air Today, Shaviva. Okay, yes, our Give It Air, which is brought to you by the Grout Museum District. Um, by all means, if you can, get over to 
the uh, Grout Museum and see their new display that they have. Um, the Toy Box, Generations oh, of Play. Yeah. It is so much fun and it will bring back memories for you. I don't care how old you are, you're gonna see something that's familiar. Yes, yeah. my grandson. Have you been there, Rudy? Not yet, and it's oh. been a minute. They keep me uh, behind the desk most days. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, I'm sure you're real good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you do a good job for our community. And that's why you got a certain award, didn't you? There was something I saw we'll talk about. Uh, what I, was Agnes? Proclamation. Oh, the proclamation, oh, the proclamation. Uh, last uh, Monday night at the council meeting. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Okay. Can we, before, before we get any further into it, it looks like we've got some comments. Awesome. Hey. Yes. Uh, Velveeta Robertson says, happy Friday. All oh, right. Hey, hey Velveeta. Thank you for watching. Yes. Caleb, okay. you said and? That's all? That's all. Okay, okay. thank you, thank you. All right. Okay, so in our Give It Air, we're talking about the double standard. I think the NC, what was it, the, the girls' championship game, yeah. there's been a lot of media coverage about, yeah. I didn't see it, but I know that's. Same, I didn't see it, but from my understanding, of course, it was a very high-spirited game. It was a lot of uh, trash talking, which goes along with the territory, I'm also told. But there was a particular um, gesture that was made by Caitlin Clark. This, which means you can't see me, or oh. something like that. Right. And um, w as long as she was doing it, everybody was thinking, oh, yeah, in the spirit of the game, she's competitive. She's this, she's that. But then when um, this young lady, whom they call the Bayou Barbie. The Bayou Barbie, yeah, okay. Uh, Angel Reese did the same thing there was uh, all kind of an outcry about her not be, oh, she doesn't poor have sport. class, she's a poor sport, she's, uh, you know, just a lot of negative things about her. And the difference that was most evident probably to me, I can't say for everybody else, was the difference between black and white. Mm -hmm. Because um, there just seemed to be no, um, you know, no problem with no it. No problem with, with Caitlin, Caitlin doing it, but a big, super big problem. And Caleb brought it to Angel our attention. It. Caleb, mm -hmm. what was your take on it? My take is that uh, trash talk is part of the game. We shouldn't have different standards for different people. They're both great players. Mm. Okay. Uh, let them play, let them do everything, let them enjoy the triumph. Mm. I don't. I think that sort of overshadowed what should be a triumphant moment for LSU, who played them just an amazing game. Right. Thank you for that perspective, Caleb. Yeah, yeah he brought it to our attention, so I thought it'd be good to get his input. Did you, did you see the game, Rudy? I watched the game. It did was you? it was a great game. It was one of the most watched women's game ever. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, it was an absolutely great game. Let's put it this way. I fell asleep twice <laughs> okay. on, the men, on, the, on the men's game. On the oh, men's, on game. The men's game. On the men's but. game. Because that was, uh, the women's game was very good. Uh, I think once we come to the reality that we live in a society where we struggle with making sure we have a level playing field, mm -hmm. an equitable playing field, and we have to be vigilant to make sure that we, we approach it that way. Now, growing up as an athlete, as your son could tell you that it can get very hostile, but as we grow and mature, hopefully some of those individuals that we find ourselves in competition with become friends down the road, in which I think a, a couple of the young ladies were friends mm -hmm. prior to. And we sometimes have to uh, have ourselves to silence some of the noise that pushes the, the conversations over the edge because mm -hmm. it's not going anywhere. Right. It's not going anywhere. And I think in our own humanity, my own personal position is uh, I'm working on me. Mm -hmm. first oh, and foremost, say that. Because if say I don't, that. you know, I'm on a couple of uh, uh, Facebook groups and, and the guys can go in hard, whether it's about golf and the difference between the PGA and the live players. So, I have to kind of limit myself so I don't get drawn in too much mm. as to not disrupt my own peace. peace. Yeah. Right. You yes. Made, yeah. You made a really good point too, Rudy, about um, 
uh, it seems like context is missing right, sometimes right. because a couple of these young ladies were already sure, friends or, you know, sure. there's a backstory. Sure. But one thing that gets to be a problem is when people don't leave any kind of leeway sure. for there to be a backstory. You just sure, make right. your initial oh. reaction to it be something that's based off your own personal bias right, without sure. knowing the whole story. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Sometimes uh, we go to work to perform a job, a task, and some of us go to work to work ourselves out of a job. Okay. Hmm. So, so <laughs> okay. if I need to be employed for the next 20, 30 years, I might as well keep it up, mm -hmm. keep the drama going and, and push it over the edge a little bit to make sure that uh, we have a repeat story and so on uh, and so forth. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I see Glory Dickens is watching. Hey, Glory. And she says, happy Friday. All this right. is North End Update. Um, thank you all for watching. So, Caleb, I got North End Update, and you can just give us the comments on that page. Okay, Caleb? Okay. All right. Well, now, that was a great discussion. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking maybe some of our viewers might want to chime in on that discussion. Has anybody mentioned anything, Caleb? No? no. So we'll move on to our talking point. Okay. We yes. got another. Now, that was our give it air. You know, usually that's a little racy, sometimes about race, and sometimes not just about courtesy and kindness. But this is just something that we wanted to give to somebody that might want to hear it. You uh -huh. know, somebody might be struggling with something today. And what is that talking point, should be? Okay, our talking point is your mind is a garden, your thoughts are the seeds. Mm. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. Now we can expound on that because I'm telling you, your mind is something. It's a, it's mm. an organ just like your heart, just like your kidneys and you know all those others. So we really have to be mindful of our um, mental health. Yes. And I think now people are calling it brain health because that way it doesn't sound, I think there's so much stigma around the mental health statement mm -hmm. that they've even changed the terminology. Sure. Think of your brain as an organ and how much you have to care for it. So what are your takes on that? How do you feed yourself those positive thoughts? You being a pastor, I'm sure you're gonna, in fact, I wanted to tell our viewers a uh, happy Good Friday and uh, have a blessed holiday weekend. Uh, we didn't want to forget that, mm -hmm. but talk about feeding your brain. Well, uh, my understanding and, and belief of, of how the Bible describes us is in a triune entity, uh, spirit, soul, which encompasses our mind, our mental uh, capacities, and body. Uh, we need to uh, address all three, uh, not always equally, but, but all adequately. Mm. So uh, as I mentioned before, I can't spend all day and all night on Facebook uh, <laughs> because before I know it, you know, it could be two o'clock and I haven't gotten any rest, any sleep. But we do need to be mindful of what we are feeding our, our, our mind, uh, our bodies, as well as our spirits. Uh, college students uh, know well that they need to give themselves time and attention to their studies. Mm -hmm. They can't be on social media all day. And that which enables them to uh, acquire good grades is uh, making sure they put in the right academic information in, in their minds, in their brains. I was watching, now I was watching a, a, a Facebook clip where uh, Sharina Williams' dad, mm. she was having a conversation with a young man and, and, and he was ready to go in to try to discourage her in her belief that she was uh, as good as she was. And her ah. dad stepped in and said, hey, we're not gonna hear it because he did not want her to entertain that negative thought that was probably getting ready to be shared with her. So uh, I believe we need to uh, spend more time encouraging ourselves, getting the right information in our, in our hearts and in our minds and our thought process. Uh, there's a passage in the Old Testament where King David, he was having a rough time and, and his friends were, were fewer and he got to the point where he realized that I have to encourage myself. Okay. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what he did. So that's what we have to do sometimes, encourage ourselves when sometimes it's, it's fleeting to get it from friends, neighbors, family. Mm. And you know, uh, a lot of times I think when we're having, we feel it, we're feeling angst or right. feeling anxious about something, mm -hmm. I think it's a good idea, of course, to uh, go in, in your prayer closet. And also another method to um, kind of give adverse, give, opposite of being anxious, it's just to slow down, consciously slow down 
and take deep breaths, a breathing routine or something, right. you know? Like, that's really been helpful for me. Absolutely. We have Joyce more comments? Wilder, it says, good evening, ladies. Oh, hey, Hello, Joyce. Joyce Ann. Joyce Ann. And I know Joyce Ann has developed some very good coping skills, and she's doing a wonderful job. God is blessing her every day. And, you know, this is really so appropriate to have you, Pastor Ruby, Rudy, to be here on this wonderful holiday weekend. Um, does your church celebrate the holiday well, we do. and you do anything we, we, special we do. this weekend? Well, we're going to, uh, we've been participating in some of the uh, the services we've had uh, over the, uh, the week, uh, midweek services, uh, Holy Week services. We'll be participating tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we won't be able to be at two places at once. But uh, we wish you all the most uh, much success in your oh, endeavor. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we'll have our own services uh, Sunday morning, and uh, we'll keep it moving. Okay, great. Yes, Caleb, another comment. Yes, Amy Cass says, what you consume becomes your attitude. That includes all the media you consume. Sometimes oh. you need to disconnect from social media to get yourself out of a negative mindset. Also, beware of information online as it may not be the most reliable. Oh, scholarly. that is so Absolutely. Yes. yes. Thank you, Amy. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for that, Amy. And Amy's uh, very correct on that because you get, I, and I have some relatives that will <laughs> send me some crazy stuff and I'm like, yeah. and they think because it's just, it was on YouTube, sure. it's got yeah, to be sure. real, you sure. know? Sure. So be careful and feed your mind good stuff. Mm -hmm. How do you manage to keep your brain positive? Well, it's like, you know, um, you have to think about what you are going to allow to grow, what kind of things you're going to, you know, put your attention on. And one of my favorite yeah, <laughs> saying, I you it. knew I was going to say it. it. You cannot stop a bird from flying over your head, but you can stop it from building a nest. So, That's right. That's yeah. right. So, yeah, we had to get that out there. And hopefully that helps somebody because um, somebody needed to hear that today. That's right. All right, now let's get down to natural bone business. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, what do you got for Rudy Shaviva? Well, I want you to talk a little bit about community development, what, um, what happens with community sure, development. Sure, sure. Well, the, the city of Waterloo is fortunate to be what's called and considered by virtue of its population in conjunction with the city of Cedar Falls, entitlement cities. So we get a formula allocation of funds every year, uh, community development block grant funds, what we call CDBG, and home funds, which is not an acronym. It just means that we have to use those dollars for housing-related activities only. So next week, uh, April the 10th through the 14th, we're going to be celebrating Community Development Week. Now that means to us is we get to showcase our programs, projects, and services and all of our partners that make this kind of endeavor happen. See, we're here, we're the, the face and, and the voices of, of the show, uh, but a lot of times things can't get done unless we have Caleb uh, behind the scenes and AA behind the scenes and Agnes behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. They make us look good. That's right, yes, you're right so, about that. So we've got a number no of, pun intended, of, right? of, of great partners that are, are behind the scenes doing a lot of the work, a lot of staff that you won't catch behind a camera, in front of a camera, or a microphone, but they're the ones that do a lot of the heavy lifting. Mm -hmm. We got contractors that they're the ones getting dirty and, and doing all the code related work. We've got non-for-profits that are providing the services. So this is just uh, the week where we're gonna say, where we're having some great successes. And it's not just one entity or one agency or one council member, it takes all of us. We've, we've heard it said that teamwork makes the dream work. That's not just a saying. That's how it's got to be done. Yeah. As evidence of the game the other night. You know, it's yeah, always going to take right. a, a collaboration of everybody okay. to have the successes we need. Okay, I think we have some comments. Caleb? Yes, Amy Cass says as well, watching things like North End Update can help give you a more positive outlook <laughs> on the community that you live That's in. That's right. Thank yes, you. thank you, Amy. Reality many times will reveal much more than a soundbite ever can. Oh, my. Well, thank right. you. And, yes, and like you said, those people behind the scenes are right. what you're going to be trying to promote sure, this sure. during this week. Yes, yes uh, even though it's next week, 
Uh, we've had a, a number of webinars that, and, 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 and on-site uh, virtual uh, tours whereby I'm literally exhausted from all the work oh, we've done this I, week. That, well, you got to take time to rest. Week. I, I, I will, after next week. Okay, after, after I know how week. that is yeah. when you got something look, right. to look forward right. to. Yeah, now talk about um, some of the programs that Community Ve Development offers. Sure, okay. We offer a, a number of uh, housing, uh, direct housing-related services, and through our partners, our not-for-profit agencies, they offer a lot of the uh, direct services uh, to clientele in areas that, that we don't, such as homelessness uh, services, oh. uh, such as rental assistance services. Uh, we've got um, uh, agencies that that's trying to bridge the gap uh, with what uh, a lot of people in our community need. Uh, we have our lead paint hazard program where we help uh, owner-occupied uh, homes and, and families. We also have expanded that to include uh, landlords and their tenants. Mm -hmm. And we even have expanded that to include uh, rental units that might not have uh, the children in there because at some point down the line, a, a family with the child might become an occupant of that. So we've got mm. uh, emergency repair assistance where uh, a person's hot water heater might stop functioning and, and God forbid that that happens or a furnace would, would break down during the, the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, we do all, people have to, I'm sorry, do we have people have to meet a certain criteria to get yes. assistance? Well, yes, uh, most of that is built around a sliding scale of a household income. Interesting. Uh, but usually it's, it's very liberal in the sense that uh, more people would probably be eligible if they would call us, come sure, in. Sure, just and ask. At least, yeah, yeah, look at the numbers Empire, and, and, yeah. and, and start the, uh, the application process. Mm. So we've got a, a wide array of, of different uh, programs. Down payment assistance, uh, my assistant Angie Fordyce She's the one that manages a lot of the money and a lot of the, the federal requirements to make sure we can get to the point of performing the programs. She's come up with some great ideas over the last few years to help bridge some of those financial gaps with helping uh, landlords. We have to have some great partnerships with landlords oh, and tenants. Oh, yes, that's and Now, important. we know we've got issues, sure. but, but that should not prohibit us from uh, having good relationships and building new relationships. So she's working on that. We've got some great things coming down the pipe. Oh. How, how yeah. many people are, are served by these various programs? <sighs> Depends upon Just the program. And, uh, yeah. let's, let's say, for instance, Ms. Shavers, Stephanie Shavers. She's our neighborhood services coordinator. Yes. She could Stephanie. do a, a ten to 20,000 number during the course of the year with oh. all of the different neighborhood association wow. events that she's engaged in. Mm -hmm. uh, well into the thousands. Okay, well into interesting. Thousands. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you been a director? And oh. tell us what the future looks like as far as is retirement in the conversation? Yes, yes, I don't want to wear out my welcome. Uh, okay, there's no term yeah. limits. You think you no, can work to well, you? Well, uh, <laughs> I had a, a, a health episode last mm. year where, where the Lord was gracious and uh, kind of a wake-up call to let me know that I need to take better care of my health. I'm looking at, you know, maybe next year. I'm not rushing to retire. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to I don't want to just stop in the middle of the race, but I want to finish strong. Good. So, That's um, good to hear. We're, we're looking at at least another year out. Well, like I said, you're yeah. a popular man. I mean, uh, as soon as we put Rudy's pink, well, actually, we share Agnes at the city's <laughs> post. And, I mean, I don't know how many likes, but I was like, really? Seriously? How can we keep up with all that, Rudy? Everybody <laughs> yes, loves indeed. Rudy Jones, and I, I can see why. And I definitely know it's not because of your singing skills. No, no. <laughs> see, see, you ladies were, 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 were talking about, you know, I'm like, I'm just I was hoping you guys had forgotten that. No, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> and the only reason I even say anything is because you said that you weren't a singing preacher. So I know no, you can I'm take not. a joke. You're a good, yeah, you're, oh, sure, you sure, sing just sure, as good sure. as anybody else. I actually love me. to sing. I just can't lead a song. And sometimes I might go off a note or two. And sometimes oh, okay. I might get choked up. But uh, And it's all in yeah, love. Yeah, those yeah, that yeah, choking up part, yeah, that's yeah, the best. Yeah, you know, yeah. when you feel it in your heart. Yeah. 
Yes, indeed. So, Shaviva, um, I think, did you have any other questions? Because Rudy's just full of knowledge. Well, you didn't answer how long you've been serving. It'll be 36 years this oh, long. Oh, wow. It looks oh, like wonderful. you have something that you wanted to make yes. an announcement uh, sure. on that's coming up. Sure. Yes. Oh, and there she's it got is. It. Sure. Yeah. Right. So, uh, you see what I'm saying? That's what I just I'm does. telling mm -hmm. you. And look at Ed. He's just back there <laughs> standing and sure. working so hard. They're just great. We love our crew. So, we were fortunate how this uh, uh, played out where uh, Ms. Shavers will have a community resource fair uh, next Thursday at oh. the Sportsplex. She'll have a number of vendors that will be sharing with the community uh, about the uh, <coughs> uh, different programs and services Backwards. <laughs> that are available uh, within our community. So we encourage folks to come out, and if they can't come out, send somebody. And send if they somebody. can't be there, definitely uh, pay her a visit sometime during the week. We're really trying to uh, build relationships with our neighborhood associations and connect them with different nonprofits and services that we keep moving our, our community forward. Forward. Yeah. And that's the Spring Fling, because our, our North End Update page doesn't have the graphic, but Spring Fling Community Resource Fair, which is Thursday, April 13th, 11 to 2.30 at the Sportsplex. Yes. Mm -hmm. So try to get there and visit uh, and see Stephanie Shavers yes. and get some yes. information. All right. And I think we got a little time left. And you got your webinar series. Did you get all your talking done? Did you we want to did, say anything We did. Else? So Monday, we're going to have Mary Shalani. Uh, she's the CEO of the uh, uh, the Blackhawk County Realtors Association. Okay. Oh, we had a great conversation uh, uh, this week, and then the ironic thing is, after the the new tax assessment uh, conversation came out, we've already set a time apart next week to kind of see what her take on that is, because I think it could be a challenge not just for uh, Waterloo and the mm -hmm. county, but other counties throughout the. Uh, the state. Hmm. So uh, she gave us great information. On Tuesday, we're going to have Martin Peterson, oh. the city attorney, and he's going to be talking about how to avoid a tax sale position where we talk about generational wealth. Yes, that's a big it, thing. It, 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 it bothers me personally and professionally that uh, a family would invest 30, 40 years in buying a home and end up losing at home in the matter of a few months mm -hmm. because we may not have taken adequate preparation to do that. So Martin came and he gave us some great insight as to how we need to prepare for that. Have tough conversations because it's not going to get any easier. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have comments one more time. Yes. Sure. He says, we'll try to be there, Pastor Jones. Sounds exciting. Very yeah. Good. Okay. And Amy Cass says the webinar series will be available on the Waterloo YouTube page. That's Very right. Polite. Thank you so much, yes. Amy, for sharing that because um, some people can't see the graphics on the North End Update page. So mm -hmm. go to the YouTube page and, and Rocky and Shaviva and you'll be able to get a link. <laughs> I yes. didn't even get those words out, but hopefully you understood them. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to sing Happy Birthday now. Yes, let's do and that. And we'll just try to harmonize a little bit. That's right. For Mr. Marvin Jenkins. Uh, Mike Hollingsworth, Terry Sayers, Barbara Ann Warren, and Shanquez Keaton, Lyrical. Mr. Yes, Lyrical. That's right. <laughs> you Wilhelmina. know all these people, though. Yes, I'm do. sorry. Okay. Do. Wilhelmina Hines Henderson, yes. Madison Ray, oh, Madison. Jessica Young, oh, Jessica. Dina Dean, my girl in Chicago, all right. Corey Holmes, and Raymond Norman. Raymond Happy birthday Norman. to everybody. I know we have yeah. the best birthday people. I love it when you know every single yes. one. That yes. is community. Waterloo yes. Pride. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you would agree. It couldn't fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. <laughs> ah, another Friday when we made it. Oh, we yes. made it. We made it. And you know, mm -hmm. today is the day that we've been waiting for for so long, Shavila. Six years we've mm -hmm. been waiting for tonight. That's right. Every year we've been saying, oh, we should have a party. 
We should have a party. And so tonight we're finally going to have a party. And a party yeah. that is everything all wrapped up in one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna, it's going to be an award ceremony, a yes. dinner, and what else? Oh, Felicia Smith-Knowles is yes. going to bring the house down. So mm -hmm. it's going to be wonderful. Mm -hmm. So anyway, thank you for all of you that have watched us today. And thank you, Rudy, for thank all you. of that thank important you. information. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And until next time, oh, wait a minute. We got to tell them what we learned should be because, you know, as <laughs> seasoned <laughs> women, right. we have learned a few mm -hmm. things. Okay. And I've learned that if I put my mind only on one thing, I'll get tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. And I may miss out on other opportunities because I'm focused on one thing. So I do mm -hmm. it all at one time. Yes, indeed. <laughs> okay. And I've learned that you shouldn't go through life with a catcher's mitt on both hands. Oh! You need to be able to throw something back. Oh, yeah. say that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, until next time, keep doing more stuff like Ed, Agnes, Caleb, and Rudy Jones. Yes. That makes you awesome. That's right. Because it, it makes, makes us, us all look, look good. good. <laughs> See you next time. Yes. And if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Update. <laughs>